Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a box of 2022 Panini Capstone Baseball, one box Ram Team break number four, uh, 54. This is the last filler we got to do to unlock that diamond dozen. Um, that's coming up in the next video. Every time we get to our last filler, we'll always write, oh, I'll do my best to write last filler on there. All right, thanks everybody. We're gonna do the break first and then we'll do another dice roll to give away those spots. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. All 32 baseball teams, all 30 baseball teams are in. It'll be 32 someday, but for now, 30. <laughs> Six and a four, 10 times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then 10 times for the teams. Jason Parker is here. You told there'd be cake. There is cake, just go to the back. It's in the back room, help yourself to a slice. We got it from the uh, from the local bakery down the way. Uh, red velvet. All right, Guardians down to Phillies. All right, so no trade windows in these filler breaks, but there's the first half of the list, and there's the second half of the list right there. Adam Copperman, what's going on, man? He must be happy. He's a Jets fan. He's wondering if there's any football news today. Here on uh, Monday, April 24th, 2023. Just mere days before the 2023 NFL Draft. Aaron Rodgers, a New York Jet. Adams Jets. Adam, how excited are you about this? Now that the deal is well, it's still not finally done, but at least the terms of the deal have been agreed to. Names have to be signed on the dotted lines. That has yet to happen. But those seem like mere formalities at this point. How are we feeling today? How is the city feeling today? It must be very exciting. I mean, this is, I was listening to some, some of the talking heads on ESPN and NFL Network talk about this, and, and I guess this is probably the best quarterback the Jets have ever had, right, in their history, since, like, Namath. And I don't know if even Namath, compared to his, his contemporaries, were as, at the level of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, the O, o line they got to deal with, but that might that might be that might be their first round pick. And now it's just all all in for all in for the Jets organization. But the pieces are there. Now it's just now it's just on coaching, right? Just get some additional piece, pieces and then and then coaching. There's Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card for the Royals. That'll be for Boyd. It'll be uh, I'll, yeah. I was just gonna say you you took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say we're probably gonna see a lot more. Uh, we're probably gonna see a lot more uh, prime time games for the Jets instead of a lot of one o'clock games, which would be 10 a.m. West Coast time. So not. I don't think there'll be a lot of games, a lot of early games for the Jets. There's Brandon Marsh. He's having a great start to the season. That'll be for. Uh, that's still Angels edition. That's going to go to Danny. Right, Josh Allen versus Aaron Rodgers twice a year. That's going to be fun. 
Here's a crest insert, Wander Franco for the Rays, Boyd. Matt Veerling to 75. Yeah, I can see the Jets getting a lot of Monday night games, Thursday night games, Sunday night games. There's Sam Huff, jersey and autograph for the Rangers. That's going to go to Danny. Yeah, James is thinking there's some there's some good old linemen in that 20 to 10 to 20 range for the Jets. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping my Raiders take with their seventh pick take a, a top tier offensive lineman or maybe there's Kyle Manzaro for the Rays for Boyd. You know, or maybe one of those pass rushers, the highly touted pass rusher that drops to wherever we may be, or one of those elite tier quarter, cornerbacks. Anything on the defensive side or offensive line side for my Raiders would be nice. So the Jets' home games this year, aside from their division, Chiefs, Eagles, Chargers this year. This might be a short print here. It's a graffiti parallel, Bobby Wood Jr. It's going to go to Boyd in Kansas City. I feel like I've not seen a lot here. I, know, I, I don't want the, uh, the surprise quarterback pick for the Raiders. Maybe in later rounds taking a quarterback I'd be fine with, but not this early. There's so many holes that the Raiders need to plug. Jalen Carter would be nice, but... For the Yankees, I'll be for Tristan, but I'm I'm concerned about a little concerned about his uh, how hit that pick would be perceived, considering his driving record. I think there's there's some echoes of the Henry Rugg situation that I think some people might be uncomfortable with. All right. There it is here. Now let's flip back to the list. Let's gather everybody's names. Go, moving forward, I mean, I think Jimmy G is going to be the quarterback for at least the next two seasons. All right, top eight will be in the Diamond Dozen break after five. But I think the Raiders will draft a quarterback either this year or next year just to marinate behind Jimmy G, and then hopefully he's the bridge to, to the future. All right, top eight after five. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, so from nine on down, it's going to be sad times. Sorry, Tristan. But nine through 30, I appreciate everybody giving this a shot. We'll get them next time. In fact, there's another Diamond Doesn't Break Up plus another couple fillers we got to do. So if you feel like trying again, go for it. Or why not just get a full spot? Save yourself the, the, the heartache. All right, top eight, though. You're happy. Happy times for Mickey is happy. So it's Trevor, Jason, Boyd, Danny, Ryan, Danny, Brad. Congrats to the top eight. We'll see you in the next video for the break itself. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.